Americium dioxide is a black compound of americium. In the solid state AMO2 adopts the fluorite, calcium fluoride structure. It is used as a source of alpha particles. Historical use Synthesis of americium dioxide involves precipitating – water a solution of americium in hydrochloric acid HCl solution as described by the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. The demand for americium dioxide stems from the difficulty of storing the element americium as a liquid in the hydrochloric acid solution because the alpha radiation and hydrochloric acid decomposes storage containers over time. To solve the liquid storage problem, Oak Ridge National Laboratory devised a synthesis to turn liquid americium acid solution into a precipitated form of americium for safer handling and more efficient storage. Synthesis Synthesis of americium dioxide as described by the Oak Ridge National Laboratory includes making a solution of americium in hydrochloric acid by adding americium to hydrochloric acid, then neutralizing the acid as using ammonium hydroxide NH4OH, after neutralization using ammonium hydroxide, a saturated oxalic acid solution was added to the now neutralized solution. This causes large americium oxalate crystals to begin to grow. Once complete precipitation is achieved, oxalic acid is then added, once again, to attain a slurry. The slurry of americium oxalate and oxalic acid is next agitated before the americium oxalate is filtered out, washed with water, and is partially dried by allowing air to flow through it. Oak Ridge National Laboratory researchers noted that the americium oxalate that was filtered out has a dusty rose color. Appearance The americium oxalate is then added to a platinum boat to undergo calcination. The americium oxalate precipitate is dried in a furnace and will begin to decompose at 350 degrees Celsius. When decomposition begins to occur, the oxalate will turn into the desired black americium dioxide. To ensure no oxalate remains in the newly forming dioxide, the oven temperature is increased and held at 800 degrees Celsius, then slowly allowed to cool to room temperature. Americium aluminium alloys Americium aluminium alloys can be formed by melting americium dioxide with aluminium and an additional fluxing agent. The created alloy can undergo neutron irradiation to produce transuranic nuclides. Transuranic meaning an element with a higher atomic number than uranium 92 and, as described in the toxicology profile, nuclides are elements, and isotopes of elements that give off radiation and can change into a different isotope or into a different elemental isotope entirely. References <laughs>